Today's recipe is Ginisang Ampalaya or Bitter Melon. Mm. <laughs> If you enjoy this recipe, please consider subscribing to our channel, Happy Feats and Paws, for more recipes every week. Let's get started! Trim the ends of the bitter melon. Then we will slice it in half to remove the seeds. And this is how we clean the ampalaya. Using a small spoon, firmly scrape the seeds across. Scrape them multiple times until they come out clean and smooth, just like so. And I prefer slicing them on the bias. Transfer the sliced ampalaya to a large mixing bowl. To reduce the bitterness, we will soak these in lukewarm water for 5 minutes. Save some of the water for later use. Toss them around for about 60 seconds, then drain the water. Sprinkle 2-3 to three teaspoons of kosher or rock salt while tossing them around. Just a quick trivia, bitter melon is actually a fruit. Let's set them aside until ready to use. Now let's mince 10 large prawns or shrimp. I find it easy to mince using a butcher knife. Place the minced shrimp or prawns in a bowl then set aside. Meanwhile, let's crack 4 large eggs. Let's season them with a pinch of pepper in a pinch of salt. I prefer adding some spring onions. Whisk, then we'll set this aside for later. Use a walker pot for this recipe. Heat 2 tablespoons of cooking oil over medium-high heat. Saute chopped shallots until translucent. Next, saute sliced garlic until fragrant. Mix in the chopped tomatoes and saute until soft. Then add 2 teaspoons of fish sauce with the minced shrimp. Mix well to combine. Add the mixture into the wok and cook it for 3 to 5 minutes. Do not overcook the shrimp as they tend to become tough. Season it with some pepper. Give it a good stir to combine. Simmer over medium-low heat while rinsing the bitter melon. Rinse the bitter gourd with the remaining lukewarm water. Make sure there is no salt residue to prevent salty ampalaya. Then go ahead and mix in the bitter melon or gourd. I did not need to add water, but you may do so if you want them soupy. I prefer gentle stirring to keep the bitter melon intact. Turn the heat to medium-low. Then carefully push the vegetables to the side and add the eggs. Be patient and stir the eggs gently until they solidify. I add the eggs last to keep them from overcooking. Cook for another 2 minutes then turn the heat off. Let's season it with some pepper. I added a little bit of a kick by sprinkling some chili flakes. I did not need to add salt but you may do so as you please. And there you have it, my ginisang ampalaya or sautéed bitter melon. Serve them warm as a side dish or as a full-on meal with rice. Enjoy!